Okay, so here's another way that you could be asked a question um, when we're looking at, for example, like quadratic equations with complex roots. So what we have here, so this here is a root. Okay, so it tells you that this is a root. So that this here is a root of the equation, or this quadratic equation, z squared minus 6 z squared minus 6z plus k is equal to 0. So what we're saying is that this, so this complex number here, 3 plus i, if you substitute this in to this, to this um, quadratic equation, substitute it in where the z is, it will work out and it'll be equal to 0. So therefore it's a root or it's a value for z that satisfies this equation. So what it asks you to do is, it, you're trying to figure out what k is here. So find the value of k and write down the other root in the form a plus bi. Now, in relation to the other root, okay, so we can tell straight away that the other root is going to be the conjugate of this, so it's going to be 3 plus 3 minus i. Okay, so that's going to be that's going to be the other root. But first of all, what we'll do is we'll we look at this and we'll solve this. So if this guy is a root of this um, quadratic equation, then if we substitute this value for z into this quadratic equation, it'll satisfy the equation in that it'll work out to be zero. And we can use that then to figure out what the value of k is. So what will that look like? So we, if we write down our quadratic, so it's z squared minus six times z plus k is equal to zero. And what we're saying here is that z is equal to three plus i. So that's the value for z. So what we need to do now is we need to take this value for z and we need to substitute it into this um, quadratic. So wherever there's, wherever z is, we're going to replace it with this guy here, with this complex number, 3 plus i. So what will that, that look like? So, so this is z squared. So we're going to have uh, 3 plus i to be squared, okay, minus 6 times 3 plus i plus k. So k is the unknown, we're trying to work out what that is, is equal to zero, like so. So then what we can do is we can work this out. Um, so if we take this one here, and I'm just going to do that over here. So it's 3 plus i, so 3 plus i to be squared, 3 plus i to be squared is just going to be 3 plus i by 3 plus i. Okay, so 3 by 3 gives me 9. 3 by plus i gives me plus plus 3i. Um, plus 3i by 3 gives me uh, plus 3i. And then plus i by i gives me plus uh, gives me plus i squared. And i squared, if we remember this rule, so remember i squared is equal to minus 1. So this here will simplify to... 9 plus 6i, so plus 3i plus 3i will give you 6i, and then this minus, this i squared will just will simplify to minus 1, so minus 1 like so. Okay, so this whole, this whole term here will work out to be this here. So we can put that up here, so it's going to be 9 plus 6i minus 1. And then we can work this out. So minus 6 multiplied by 3 will leave us with minus 18. Uh, minus 6 multiplied by plus i will just give us minus 6i. Uh, and then that's going to be plus k is equal to 0. And then what we can do is we can start collecting up the like terms here. Um, so let's have a look. So we have, so let's say 9 minus 1, that's just going to simplify to 8. Um, so that's these two guys simplified. Um, and sorry, and then we actually have minus 18 then as well. So we've, that's just going to simplify to, that's going to simplify to 10. Okay, we bring this 18 as well. So that's just going to be 10. So we have 9 minus 1 is 8. And then plus 8 minus 18 would be equal to minus 10, should I say? That'll be minus 10. 
then we have so plus 6i minus 6i that will just cancel out and then we're just going to have minus 10 plus k is equal to 0 so we just simplified this and it simplifies down into minus 10 plus k is equal to 0 so what we want to figure out then is what like what is the value for k so we need to get rid of the numbers around k so here we have minus 10 so in order to change this to 0 we have to add 10 if we add 10 on this side of the equal sign we have to add 10 on this side as well so minus 10 plus 10 will cancel out and you're just going to be left with k is equal to plus 10 or, or k is just equal to 10. so the question asks us it says uh, find the value for k so the value for k so the value of k which is in this um, quadratic here which is an unknown we worked out is equal is 10 so that's the value and then this part here okay so write down the other root in the form a plus bi so for example if this is let's say if this is the first root z is equal I'll just push this up a bit here so z is equal to 3 plus 3 plus i then the other root that will satisfy this um, quadratic here it'll be the conjugate of this okay so if we remember so if we remember the conjugate the conjugate so if this is your complex number the conjugate of this is going to be we just change the sign in front of the imaginary part so it's going to be 3 minus i so that's the answer so this is the first answer here we worked out what k is and then this is the second answer here okay so they're both they're both your answers and that is that one so that's another type of question that you could be asked let's say when you're looking at uh, quadratic equations with complex roots so they might give you the root so for example and then there will be some part of the quadratic that will be an unknown so you have to substitute the root into the quadratic and then work out the unknown like what we've done here or they could even give you the root and ask you for what's the other root well the other root is always going to be the conjugate of it which is just if this is the the initial complex number you started off with the conjugate of that is just going to be exactly the same except you change the sign in front of the in front of the imaginary part okay so that's that other type of question that you could be asked in relation to this whole area of quadratic equations with complex roots